welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as I'm sure you can tell, is a Topshop Autumn Haul. Now, I went shopping in at Topshop yesterday. I didn't mean to kind of buy a capsule collection, like an autumn capsule collection from Topshop. It's just, I like a lot of like muted colours and I've just grabbed things that I absolutely love, that I just were drawn to in store. And then when I've just been trying them on and doing like the, the outfits on to show you in the video, I've kind of realized that this whole pile kind of is a real mix and match kind of capsule autumn collection. So I don't know how, I've not meant to do that, but we have ended up doing that. So actually, if you like the same kind of color schemes, palettes as me, a lot of neutrals, blacks, whites, then this little haul could potentially be your wardrobe for the next four weeks. So, so let's call it our October Topshop Autumn Capsule Wardrobe Haul. Whoa, that is a mouthful. So yeah, so if you're new here, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification button so that you don't miss any of my hauls because there's loads and loads of hauls coming up. Um, and if you love kind of Topshop, Zara, high street stores and quite a kind of casual but kind of girly feel um, to your outfits and your wardrobe, then make sure you subscribe because this is the channel for you. My name is Beth Bartram, if you are new here. I am a mum of three, I am a stepmom to one. I have two gorgeous French Bulldogs who you will see running in and out of the video um, when I'm trying the outfits on because unfortunately, I've got a four month old puppy and he does not want to listen to me. So the, the options either were, pop him outside and him whinge the whole way through when I'm trying my outfits on or just let him run riot. So apologies now if that is a little bit distracting when I'm trying the outfits on. He was just kind of all over the place. He was chewing my shoes, everything. So yeah, sorry about that girls, but he's very cute. So let's let him off. So let me tell you a little bit about this Topshop haul before we get started. Yesterday I was due to go into Topshop and have a personal shopping appointment with the Traffic Centre personal shopping team. I was so gutted, I was on my way to Traffic Centre yesterday, I literally had to pull over, I was so ill, I had like a migraine coming on, um, all my vision was like all ripply and blurry on one side, it was an absolute nightmare, so I had to pull over, get a load of water, get some tablets and cancel my appointment and head home, so I'm absolutely gutted, but don't worry because that will be coming in a couple of weeks, we've rescheduled for next week, so that will be coming, so if you haven't already checked out the Topshop personal shopping service, then make sure you, do, you are subscribed so that you don't miss that video coming up because it is an amazing service and I always absolutely love when I go and they pick out the most amazing outfits. I'm gonna stop rambling on, let's get into the video. So welcome to the haul. I'm doing it in the same kind of format as last time because I got a lot of feedback that that was much, much better. So I've tried all these outfits on, I've put them together, I've mixed and matched them, um, the different ways that you could wear them, the ways I've chosen them to wear. So let's get into the haul and get going. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna show you is this beautiful blouse that I picked up in Topshop yesterday. Now tomorrow um, is my my sister's 40th birthday party, so it's not too much of a like major dressy affair. Um, it's quite a kind of intimate, close family and friends. Um, but we are going there tomorrow and I just realised I didn't have anything to wear. So when I went into Topshop this morning, I wanted to, I had that in mind when I was looking and I came across this beautiful blouse. I love when Topshop do these kind of cream lace kind of um, blouses and dresses. I've had like a dress really, really similar to this before from Topshop, which I absolutely loved. Um, so when I spotted this, I was like, yes, I know I can wear that. I will look nice, girly, look like I've made an effort, but still feel really comfortable. So I picked it up in a size 12, I think. Yeah, I got a size 12 because I want it to be loose, I want it to be oversized, I want it to be baggy, um, and it's just beautiful. So it's got like um, embroidered, like cream detail all over the front, and then it has this kind of striped effect. And what I really love with the sleeves, so you can see they're really like oversized balloon and mesh style sleeves, and then the cuffs are really detailed. So they've got this kind of like scallop hem to the edge of the cuff and then they just finish with these two little buttons and I just thought they are so cute. So I'm gonna wear like loads of like arm, like candy bra like bracelets, jewelry and stuff on my sleeve and then kind of push it up, push the blouse up here so that's all showing. Um, and I just absolutely loved it. 
so the back is like a just a buttons up at the back of the neck with like a scallop and yeah I think if you are going to wear it the way I plan to wear it like more oversized I would definitely say size up two if not three I kind of wish I'd even gone up another size it was really big and oversized but that's just per personal preference you might want to wear it a little bit more fitted um, but yeah it's it's lined on the front so the front has this kind of lace detail which is lined so even um, if you just wore like a nude bra then you wouldn't see that through but then on the back it isn't lined so it's quite sheer so you are going to have to be careful about what bra you're going to wear. My plan is to just tape my boobs at the front so they're kind of in place so I don't have to wear a bra which is my new favourite thing. I never wear strapless or stick on bras anymore, I just use boob, boob tape just to kind of secure them. If you um, don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> Google Kim Kardashian boob, boob hack or boob tape hack on YouTube and you will see exactly what I'm looking for. In fact, I will put it in the description for you. It is a absolute winner. Like nothing holds your boobs in place like that hack. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna do that. So yeah, this is a little blouse. And in the video, I've teamed it with some jeans. I've teamed it with the leather shorts that I plan to wear tomorrow night. Um, and I just thought it was an absolute winner. So it is 35 pounds which I don't think is too bad because the detail on this is really, really nice and I think it's going to look really nice and expensive on. So yeah, I'm dead, dead happy with that. So that's number one. And then I'm going to show you what I bought to wear with the top for tomorrow night. So I've seen these leggings on the... So I've seen these leather look shorts on a few people on Instagram and I completely forgot about them and then when I saw them in store I was like oh my god I've got to have them. So I didn't try them on or anything, I just gambled and went for the size 8 and they're actually fine. I'm so glad I did just go for my normal size because I think if I'd sized up they would have been far too big here and they're already oversized so that was good. <laughs> so yeah they're basically like these leather effect um, paper bag waist shorts but this this section here is quite kind of flared, it's got the pleats, it's got the roll up um, hem and then at the back it just has two pockets and they are so flattering on. I absolutely love them so I've tried them on with the blouse, I've also tried them on just with a white t-shirt and a jacket so a much more casual look so I think you could definitely dress these up or down. They'd probably look really cute as well maybe with like black tights and over knee boots, maybe a big jacket or something like that. Um, but yeah, they look and feel really, really expensive. So the leather is like a croc effect. Um, and it's really, really nice and thick. So it's really flattering. And then the roll-ups are also really nice and thick. And yeah, they're just an absolute winner. I would 100% recommend these shorts um, if you like this kind of thing. They are so, so nice. So yeah, I got my normal size 8. So don't size up. And they're £32. So actually for the quality on these and I think for the amount of times that you'll be able to wear this I would 100% say these are an absolute bargain because you could wear these casual with a t-shirt, trainers, big jacket, you could wear them with tights and boots like I said, you could wear them how I'm going to wear them tomorrow night with um, like heels, you could wear them with bare legs and over knee boots, you could wear them with chunky black boots, honestly you could get so so much wear out of these and then also you could wear them right into spring and summer as well. Um, so yeah, an absolute winner. I would 100% recommend these shorts to anybody. I love them. So yeah, they are definitely a winner. Go for your usual size. You don't need to size up, they're already oversized. So that was those. And then I just picked up this basic white t-shirt, which I've already styled with the black shorts. Um, but when I go into Topshop, I pretty much always just pick up a white t-shirt because I feel like nobody does a white t-shirt quite like Topshop does a white t-shirt. So this one I haven't had yet. I've seen this on Freya Killing and she just looks amazing in everything. Um, but this is like a white box t-shirt but it has all the distressed kind of notches out of the collar and does it have it on the hems? No, it's just on the collar and it's like a nice boxy fit but these t-shirts, the ones that I've got have like roll up sleeves, this just is a normal sleeve so that'd be really good to just have. Like I think in autumn as well when you're layering and things it's really important to have in your wardrobe like one of these in white, black, maybe even like a grey as well so you can just mix and match and layer under jackets, overshirts, um, 
under like the kind of thick kind of overcoat shirts that are all in trend, on trend at the moment. I just think it's an essential. You can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with joggers, you can wear it like with the leather shorts and dress it up like a cash, like a smart casual kind of look for a night out or drinks with the girls. It's just an essential. So yeah, I got my normal size A and it, it is oversized already so it fits exactly how I want it to. So just go for your usual size and it was just £10. So I don't think you can go wrong. They have this in so, so many colours. So I think if you wear things like this a lot, just get it in every colour, like you won't be disappointed. So yeah, I've styled it with the black shorts. I've styled it with the jeans that I've got. It just looks amazing with everything. And it's a really nice thick kind of cotton. It's not one of those cottons or one of those like white t-shirts that will like cling to everything. It just fits really, really nicely. So that was a little bargain. I'm gonna go back and get the black in this, definitely. Okay, and talking of black, I picked up some new jeans. So about, I would say maybe four months ago, I was going through my wardrobe and I was like, literally like my wardrobe, was full of Topshop skinny jeans, Jamie jeans, they were just my winner, I bought about 10 pairs and then like this summer I didn't wear like my Jamie jeans or my skinny jeans at all, I just was wearing mum jeans constantly all summer. So then I had it in my head that I was just like there's no point having them and not wearing them so I sold all my skinny jeans and now it's gone back into autumn, I've forgotten actually that I do really like skinny jeans and I really like them with like chunky boots and big oversized coats or like with dusty coats, longer coats, and I'm like, why, why did I do that? Why did I sell all my jeans? So I went into Topshop yesterday, I was like, I need to go and get some skinny jeans and basically replace all the skinny jeans that I sold in summer, and basically I'm an idiot. <laughs> so I picked up these because I wanted something black to wear that isn't black leather pants or leather leggings because that's all I've been wearing lately, and I feel like I keep wearing like the two same two pairs of like black leather leggings all the time so I wanted to get some jeans I was looking for some that were like a charcoal and then I saw these and I was like actually I'm going to get these so they're just a Joni jean which is their high waisted really super stretchy um, skinny jean which before I've had in like a light blue colour and I didn't like them I thought they were really unflattering on me but the black ones I think because they are black I mean they're super skinny like they fit so so skinny so I think black I can get away with blue no it's not good it's not good look on me at all so yeah anyway I got these they are the journey jeans and what I liked about them I don't know if you can see is they are they have like a rolled down distressed effect cuff so I thought they'd look really really cute I liked them better than just a plain black so yeah I've tried these on they absolutely fit like a glove they're so high waisted they're super flattering I don't think personally I would wear them on, on their own I think I would always wear them with something laid over the top just because they are so skinny and so tight on me I feel like maybe it's not the most flattering thing so I kind of want something covering my bum but I like them really skinny on my legs so it's just that thing that you've got to do I want them really super tight so they're skinny on my legs but then on my bum I feel like they're not very flattering it's so yeah it's got to be long coats I think um so yeah go for your new normal size they're super skinny always anyway so you don't have to think oh I'm going to size down to get them super tight they're already super tight I got these in a waist 26 which is roughly like a size 8 and the length I got 30 because I quite like them short with a bit of ankle showing I don't like them too long so yeah, that's why I went for a 30 and the price on these were 38 pounds. So not too bad and the quality on them is really, really nice. I'm really impressed with them. So yeah, I've styled these with the white t-shirt, like a really casual look, they looked really nice like that. I've also styled, did I try it on with the blaze, the bl lace blouse? I'm not sure, I can't remember now. But yeah, they're just gonna be a winner and I feel like if you need a pair of black skinny jeans, get to Topshop, Joni skinny jeans are the way forward. Okay, and then while we are on the black theme, I picked this dress up as a backup for my sister's birthday party in case the blouse and the short didn't look right or I picked up the wrong size because I thought I can wear this, maybe with some heels, maybe just belt it up or maybe just with some like heeled ankle boots or something for tomorrow night. But I love the blouse and shorts, so actually I'm not gonna wear this tomorrow night. But when I've just tried it on before and I've tried it like styling it different ways, I absolutely loved it and I think it's a really nice dress to have for more maybe like day wear and then dress up for maybe like a date night or something with Rick. 
So I've tried this on with boots, which I love to look so nice. I've tried it on with heels and like a little clutch bag, which would be perfect for date night. And then I've also tried it on with trainers and then like belted up with like a saddle bag around the waist, which I absolutely loved and like tried it on with the fur jacket. So this dress I feel like is such a versatile little number. It is a black polka dot. Is it black? Yeah, it is black. I thought maybe it was navy for a minute then. It is a black and white polka dot number. It's got a high neck, it's got like ruffle details on the sleeve, down the front and on the skirt section. And it's like a real nice like kind of smocky drop waist kind of dress that's gonna hide all these lumps and bumps. If you're going out for food, you can eat as much as you want because it's just gonna hide all your kind of, um, what do you call it? Food baby. <laughs> Um, so it's going to hide all your food baby when you go out for food and the sleeves are really cute, they've got like a little button, they're slightly flared so you can undo that button if you wanted to. Yeah, I just think it's a really really nice kind of staple autumn dress. It, I got it in a size 10 because I wanted it loose and oversized because I know like quite often with dresses like this I will belt them up because I want them looser. Um, and it's £39 but I just think yeah it's a really really nice dress that you can dress up dress down, wear for day, wear for night, wear for occasions, layer with like a fur jacket, a gilet, denim jacket and trainers, over knee boots, it'll be just a really really nice dress to have in your wardrobe for autumn and winter and then again you could definitely wear it into spring as well with bare legs, little sandals would look really really cute. I just think with a black and white polka dot, like this small polka dot you can never go wrong, uh, I just think it's just never kind of goes out of fashion and you can team it with loads of different things. You could even get a jumper like this and layer it over the top with like boots would look really really cute. So yeah, absolute winner for a really nice kind of daytime dress, day to night dress that you can have in your wardrobe. Okay and then obviously as I said I sold on my skinny jeans so I did also pick up some blue jeans um, just so that I've got blue and black to wear in my wardrobe. I love this time of year like big oversized camel coats or fur coats, white t-shirt or white jumper and then just a blue jean and then either like loafers like this or trainers or boots or something like that. So I wanted some jeans like this and I, I spied these with the kind of distressed ripped kind of hem on the bottom and I'm a big fan of like a distressed hem and I like the way that they're kind of like shorter so they will show off a little bit of ankle just think on me my ankles are my smallest kind of part so if I show off a bit of an ankle it makes my leg look slimmer it makes my leg look slimmer um, and I just absolutely love them I like the denim on them they're like a really nice kind of washed blue and yeah these are a Jamie style jeans so I always pick these up I usually pick them up in a size 8 but I got these in a size 10 just because um, well for two reasons actually one because I've been wearing a lot of mum jeans so I just think even if they're a little bit baggier I'm kind of going to like that I'm not too bothered about them being spray on black like the Joni jeans and two because quite often I always tumble dry my jeans anyway just literally because I've got four children in the house and Rick <laughs> and um, I have so much washing I don't have time I just chuck everything in the tumble dryer so I was dead happy with those. I got them in a 10 and they fit exactly how I want, but they still have room for, if I do tumble dry them and they shrink a little bit, they're still gonna fit me and not be too small. So yeah, I really liked them. I love the distress, the distressed hem on the bottom. I think it's really, really nice and different. Yeah, and I got these in a size 10 and then a leg 30. So I am five foot four, just so you know. So I got a leg 30, so maybe if you're a bit taller than me, you might wanna get a 32. So there, they were fab and the price on these were doo -doo -doo, 42 pounds. So Topshop jeans I think are worth paying the extra for. I really like Jamie jeans, I've been wearing Jamie jeans for about five years and they're always my skinny jean that I do go for so they are a winner. I've tried them on with the white t-shirt, with the blouse, with the with trainers, with loafers, they just look so so nice. So definitely like another essential. And then I picked up two jackets because I love Topshop in autumn and I love their jackets. I, I just feel like every time I go in Topshop, all autumn winter, I see at least like three coats that I want. So it's all, always a bit lethal and I picked up this 
one because I absolutely love it and it's so similar to my other Topshop one that I got the the teddy coat in this colour but I just thought this is a slightly different kind of fit so it's got like the funnel high neck it's more like a kind of oversized bombery kind of coat rather than the teddy coat is like a lapel collar like longer so and um, the fur on this is more like a shaggy fur whereas the teddy coat is more like a really like soft neat fur if that makes sense this is me trying to justify to myself why I need another almost identical coat from Topshop within two weeks but I love Topshop coats, what can I say? I'm a coat addict. So when it comes to autumn winter, I just, I feel like every week I just see and need new coats, it's not good. But in my defense, after a few times, I do always put them on my Depop because I just get so many that I can't keep them all. So I just kind of get my wear out of them. And when I kind of, I'm done, I'll put them on Depop. So that's my excuse. And that is why you will see so many coats from me this autumn winter. But, I don't know about this one because I really like this one. So yeah, it is just a f like a high neck, zip down front and the, where is it? The zip has like a ring pull design to the zip. And it just looks really nice on and it's so cosy. And I just love it and it's got like the little pockets. It'll look really nice with my Burberry scarf that I love to wear this time of year. And it's just really snuggly, it's a really nice length, it's so thick, it's so warm, I just love it. If you've not already bought a teddy coat, go buy one because this is so nice. <laughs> so I got it in a size extra small. <coughs> just because I don't want it too massive, I don't want it to be oversized, I want it to get a little bit more fitted. So this is £69, the same as the teddy coat. I would say if you are between the two and you don't know which one to buy, if you want to go more dressy, you're going to wear it for work, things like that, and nights out, go for the other one. If you go for more of a casual vibe, go for this one. I feel like it's more casual. So they're exactly the same price, and this one's just like a little bit more, maybe it looks a little bit more vintage, a bit older. And it's got these snuggly pockets, and yeah, it's just, it's amazing. It's fully lined, it's really comfy, and yeah, I would say potentially size down unless you want it oversized. Usually I would get a small medium rather than a extra small to small in Topshop coats, but I got this in extra small to small and it is perfect on me. So there is the coat. <laughs> and then last but definitely not least, I saw this on Instagram on somebody. This outfit, I saved it to my safe photos. I was like, I need that jacket so much. It is so, so nice. And I've seen loads of people in these kind of like trucker, over, over shirt, overcoat style shirt things. So when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, that's that coat, I saved it. And I remembered, so I picked it up. It is 65 pounds, which is kind of expensive for a lightweight coat, but I do love it. And I've just tried it on with so many things before and it goes with so, so much. So it is this kind of like soft, super soft, kind of, kind of furry, oversized over shirt. I think that's what you call it, like a trucker, trucker shirt, but it's in this lovely like nude, colourway so it's like a kind of uh, beigey nude check which is so nice and then it's fully lined with this kind of silky material on the inside it looks so nice so the girl that I saw it I can't remember his Instagram I saw it on but she had it on with like a cream lightweight knit and then like shorts like denim shorts and then like cowboy boots and it just looks so nice but I don't think I'm gonna get a chance to wear that really um, just because it's so cold, maybe like if I go to Trafford Centre or something where I'm not, I know I'm going to be inside, then I might wear that outfit. Maybe on a little date night actually. If maybe it goes to Trafford Centre, I might wear that outfit. Um, but maybe with some trainers or something. I just love it. It's so nice. It would look so nice over hoodies, over sweatshirts, over knits, over t-shirts with jeans, with shorts, over even little dresses. Like I love it. It's so so nice. If you need a lightweight jacket, I would 100% recommend this. It is so soft and it just looks amazing, I love it. I really love it, I loved it on, it looks so good with everything and it, I'm a big, big fan of this, so yeah. I got, again, oh, this time I got a size small in this, just because it's oversized already, so I didn't want it too oversized. I just wanted to fit a really nice fit and it fits me perfectly. I'm a size eight, I'm, I generally like a size eight in everything. So yeah, just get your kind of normal size, it's already an oversized fit 
and I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. It looks so nice on. Okay, girls, so that is the end of this Topshop haul. I hope you've enjoyed it, as you can see, and I hope you can maybe get a few ideas as well of how you can kind of put a capsule collection together that you can mix and match over the next few weeks so you're not just going to buy like something that's only, only going to wear kind of one way like mix it up get a bit of inspiration hopefully from this video and put some other outfits together with your kind of stamp and your style on it if you like any of these uh, outfits and pieces they are all linked in the description box below and yeah I just hope you've enjoyed this video um, if you are new to my channel and you've not subscribed yet get clicking click that subscribe button and the next haul that will become will be a Zara haul which I know you all absolutely love um, and yeah thank you for watching I will see you in my next video any questions on any of the items pop them in the comments I answer all of my comments or you can always pop me an Instagram DM my handle is just here and I will see you all in my next video I love you all Mwah.